what's going on guys welcome back uh, thanks again for tuning in so today we're pretty much going to tear down the SEX 24 uh, pretty basic setup on this one it's just your C10 with you know pretty much all the little hop-ups that you not all of it but all the basic hop-ups that you need from the brass knuckles to the brass hexes I just took that wheel off so as you can see right there um, has HR shocks spectrum uh, servo Let's see if I can zoom in on that one. It's a Spectrum Servo. Uh, A332R is the actual model. Um, still has a stock electronics. I have the Furitech uh, on the side right now. Still waiting for the spur and pinion to come in. So I might as well just tear it down and use the spare uh, the stock electronics and see how it goes. We got the Spectre chassis 6061 from Killer Chassis. You guys can hit them up on IG. Um, it's really, really nice, actually. You can see uh, it's the belly of it. It's actually really low compared to the, even the stock rails on the SEX24. And this one actually has an upgraded one. It's a G-Speed rail. Um, let me show you guys the difference. Throw on this light real fast. There it is. So, as you guys can see right here, stock chassis and a Spectre. Let me take off this wheel so you guys can get a better view of it. All right, got the other wheel off. And uh, comparison, that is the G-Speed chassis. Carbon fiber is very nice. Works great, honestly. Uh, but as you can see over here, the difference the Spectre chassis, so um, that's where it sits way lower and it should give it a little bit more angle, a little bit more, uh, should I say, belly dragger style, you know, but we'll put it all together and see how it looks. So as you guys can see, pretty basic hop ups, um, still has the stock links on there. Um, I do have another link um, that I purchased uh, on, I, think, I believe it was on eBay, made by McHugh Racing or McHugh RC. Shouts out to him. Uh, let me show you guys that. So here are the links from McHugh RC. It's pretty uh, well printed. And actually, if you look at it closely, I think this is the rear. So, um, yes, yeah, on the other side. But it tucks up in the actual chassis itself, so it clears it a lot better and gives you higher clearance. So it's a high clearance style link. Um, hit them up on IG, RC, and I think this is the front. Yep, this is the front, which you can see right there. Replaces that link. Makes it way better, but sorry about that. And he also includes an actual steering adapter which uh, relocates your steering linkage from the front and you have to flip these you know this this knuckle to this side vice versa and uh, you put the actual steering linkage behind and with the clear with the high clearance kit gives you that opportunity to actually move that over there and it clears the actual linkage as well right. pretty neat I thought it was a great idea and you know I wanted to include it to this build and try it out so all right let me tear this down and get to work real fast I don't have a freaking you know I'm recording this from my phone and I need to actually buy a, a phone mount so I can or a tripod should I say so I can record why you know I tear apart stuff or work on stuff and show you guys how it does but most basic thing pretty much you just remove all the screws you're not gonna use the freaking uh, uh, should I say the skid on this because the kit comes with a new skid um, it's actually uh, reversible unlike the stock one so this one you can either be placed like this way or this way so you can have a forward mount forward motor mount or rear motor mount you know vice versa so yeah shouts out to uh, Killer Chassis this is a very well made uh, printed parts I think it's made out of resin so pretty cool alright let's get to work you guys might have noticed that little mount right there, but that actual uh, mount doesn't work with my phone. I have a freaking giant Galaxy, uh, 
what is this s20 ultra or whatever <clears throat> sorry for my voice again but i kind of want to touch base on the actual killer chassis and what it comes with so um move this links out of the way so the chassis itself has multiple uh, positions for mat body mounting options shock location of course the actual skid and then um, comes with a few pieces i believe this is for either the rear of the chassis and uh, you got a plate right over here for the front of the chassis or I, you might be able to put it you know on the back or the front whichever and it gives you the actual holes for the straps for your battery same with this um, they include uh, some body mounts and this is for the front body mount so you can actually glue up he gave you guys some uh, magnets on there which are very strong so you're gonna have to glue the magnet onto the body which I plan to do and uh, use it to its full advantage um, comes with like I said the skid itself um, some well-made side rails or should I say some uh, yeah some rails for the sides which is very well made and then of course your actual posts to stiffen up the chassis you know the front rear uh, towards the belly whatever so he gave you about I think five pieces of that so and going back to this um, as you guys can see how high the actual shocks are mounted on there and you know when the car is sitting it's still pretty flexed as far as you know the actual length itself and we'll see how it looks like afterwards forgot to mention about these so I got some trails on some RC four-wheel drive Patagonias um, I do have a new set of wheels as well shout outs to my homie Mike PZ uh, he sent me some RC four-wheel drive stamp wheels and I bought some uh, I don't know what kind of tires they are, but they're from RC Four Wheel Drive. I'll pull them out here. Let's see. These are the RC Four Wheel Drives. Um, what are they called? Rock Creepers. So they're about the same size as the Patagonias, but I guess yeah, just about the same size or a little bit smaller. But they got some bigger lugs, and I wanted to try that out. These are actually really good. Uh, they're good at crawling and stuff. The foams are there. Pretty pretty dead now or should I say softer than before but I really want to try those uh flubbers I don't know if you've seen them they're on IG as well he makes them so uh, three dependent resin uh, insert and it's really soft and actually fills up the tire a little bit better so I'm gonna try that out too but yeah these are the tires of course the RC four-wheel drive stamps I've already reversed them so you guys can do that as well if you got if you guys get these so which are pretty neat um they weigh about the same as the trio wheels um but the trio wheels have you can't reverse it because the actual six lug it's the actual mounting option for the actual you know clamping shell of the actual rim so yep that and let's see of course the electronics i just put it all in one bag the motor mount the motor and the speed controller like i said i'm missing the pinion and spur gear so i still need to get that and complete that that's why i'm not going to throw this on as of yet so i just want to mess with the stock electronics for now and go from there all right so i got pretty much the gcb chassis rails off i'm still going to use this and build something off of this so definitely holding on to this put that to the side and uh Here's the actual skeletonized uh, piece of it. So I still got to remove the actual transmission from the skid plate and transfer it over to the new one. All right. Got the transmission and the drive shafts off. Let's put it on to the actual uh, Spectre chassis right here. Got the transmission mounted on the Spectre chassis, uh, shoot, <laughs> the Spectre chassis, uh, skid, skid plate. Just be careful, guys. You know, you just don't want to use a lot of strength on there. Just use your hand and just tighten it up because, uh, 
you could strip the actual plastic on the tra on the transmission. So, but if you have a metal transmission, shouldn't be a problem. But I might upgrade that to to a metal one here soon. But as you could tell, it's right there. Let's keep going. All right. So the chassis is actually taking in some shape. I just put in the first. Uh, what do you want to call this? Uh, this rod piece over here. Um, so it's looking pretty nice. So let's try to put on the chassis a little bit. Yeah, it's getting there. Well, all right, guys. Sorry, but um, I had to stop the video. It was getting late last night, so I pretty much put it all together just as a roller for now. I didn't put the ESC on there. But as you can see, the chassis on, motor plate, all the base plates, the magnet mount, all that stuff. I still gotta actually put a magnet mount um, right over here. So I'm gonna carve this out just a tiny little bit so I can put the magnet, it'll sit flat, and then that should uh, help you know, with the body mounting options. So as you can see, it looks pretty high, but the links are perfectly uh, perpendicular to the ground now and super high clearance. Um, I need to do something with the shocks that are kind of bouncy. But as it sits, the tire is gonna rub. So because the whole chassis sits way lower, but maybe with the magnet mount, it might just raise it up just a tad bit. We'll see what happens, but it's it's looking good. I appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you know leave a comment down below and hit that like button if you like what you're seeing. So yeah, the the actual uh, the killer chassis is sweet chassis, honestly. So probably might get a new servo as well, but I am gonna purchase another SEX24 for my little ones because. There ain't no way they're gonna trash this one around. <laughs> At this point, it's pretty uh, pretty expensive now. So, yep. And I still need aluminum housings, and I'm you know we'll see and play around with it some more. I still have the 10 scales, and so these things are a little bit of a money pit, man. But they're so much fun, and I love tinkering with you know stuff like this. And as an engineer, I'm definitely uh, into all this stuff. From different types of wheels and tires, motors, servos, all the above. Especially batteries because I've learned a ton about lithium and how it works and all that because working for Tesla for a long time as an engineer, definitely had to learn about batteries. Uh, and Man, that's so sick. Shouts out to uh, Killer Chassis on IG for making such an awesome product. Um, McHugh RC links, uh, their Mantis links, hit them up. Um, it's on eBay. They're pretty dirt cheap. Comes with actual steering uh, relocation. I have not put that on yet, just due to the fact that I need longer screws. That's why I haven't actually put the, the sliders on the side because these screws are the stock screws from the original SEX um, that I had it on with the G Speed chassis, and that didn't come with any sliders either. So. I didn't really need to uh, need for longer screws, but now I actually need it. Let's see here. As you guys can see, it's, it's way flatter. Just the belly of the chassis is a huge difference when it comes to the G-Speed. Hold on, let me compare it real fast. All right, here's the G-Speed chassis. It's really nice, made out of carbon fiber. Uh, no complaints about this chassis. It's a, it's a great product. Um, you do have to use your uh, stock shock mounting and which is you know it doesn't give you that much options honestly so that's one of the drawbacks of this but the rear has a ton of mounting holes as you can see right there yep and that's a stock uh, uh, base plate or should I say the skid I did put a, a weight on there yep so that's it for this and uh, more to come. I definitely got to still do the ESC and uh, motor brushless uh, install here and I'll make another video on that and hopefully by then I got this, the actual skids on and it's crawling and I'll make a video of it crawling around. 
I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you again next time. Peace.